latest news concerning asteroids, astronomers confirm a pair of space rocks just skimmed past our Earth. We know that the astronomers tell us that usually asteroids don't come in alone. They come in in pairs or groups. Asteroid tracking has announced two space rocks made a remarkable close approach to Earth earlier this week. Astronomers revealed the two rogue space rocks approached our planet at a surprisingly close distance on Monday. The first celestial rock was an asteroid the size of a small building dubbed 2020 RF3, meaning it was discovered this year, 2020, with the second one being slightly smaller sized asteroid 2020 RD4. But despite the rarity of the event, neither asteroid posed a threat to impact our Earth. Asteroid trackers at U.S. Space Agency NASA confirmed the key details on their Earth Close Approach site. NASA announced asteroid C hurtled past Earth at 85, uh, 58,500 miles, distance at 6.43 a.m. BST, British Standard Time. And although this may seem a huge distance, it represents a mere quarter of the way between our Earth and our Moon, which measures... Uh, 239,000 miles. The uh, Then only 14 hours later, smaller size asteroid 2020 RD4 passed at a similarly close, close distance. Dr. Massey, an astronomer at the Virtual Telescope Project, managed to capture both asteroids as they passed the planet with remarkable clarity. He said in his email, asteroid 2020 RD4 will safely come at about a quarter of the average lunar distance from us. Curiously, another fresh asteroid, meaning freshly discovered, 2020 RF3, safely came even a bit closer a couple of hours ago, and I could capture it. So why is NASA tracking asteroids? Obviously, somebody has to track asteroids, because we have a lot of scars on our Earth, even our Moon and Mars, of impacts, impacts from asteroids and comets. Now, asteroids are rocky remnants from the early formation of Earth's cosmic neighborhood about 4.6 billion years ago, and NASA estimates the current asteroid count to be about a million, 994,992 that they have already uh, found. The majority of the mysterious rubble lie in an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, but some asteroids can very occasionally be pulled out of the belt to approach our planet, explaining why NASA is investing so much into planetary defense. NASA says they want, uh, they, they, they said, what would we do if a, a near-Earth asteroid, near-Earth object, NEO, were found to be on a collision course with Earth? Could we deflect the asteroid to prevent the impact? In collaboration with Aerospace Corporation Center for New Near-Earth Object Studies, has developed the N. EO deflection app, which examines the kinetic impactor deflection technique for a series of hypothetical impacting asteroids. The largest asteroid is called Vesta. It's an estimate to be a whopping 329 miles across. It's almost like a small planet. NASA cannot currently detect space rocks any smaller than 33 feet in diameter, about three miles wide. Fortunately, Earth's thick atmosphere protects our planet from space rocks of the size as they would safely burn up before they impact the Earth. But an asteroid the size of Vesta could cause apocalyptic damage to Earth should one collide. Good news is there are no known asteroids on anything approaching this scale expecting to slam and impact our Earth anytime soon. NASA said in their statement, Vesta is the second most massive body in the, ma in the main asteroid belt, account according accounting for almost 9% of the total mass of all asteroids, only dwarf planet Ceres is more massive in that region of rocky debris between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, that's between Mars and Jupiter, but we also have some Earth uh, orbit crossing asteroids, which are the Apollo asteroids, which uh, interdict, intersect Earth's path, and they are, of course, more dangerous to us. This is on Express UK by Tom Fish. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.